everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everyone had a happy new year's so in today's video i'm going to be showing you my favorites for the month of december there are only a few items i don't have a ton for the month of december but i wanted to go ahead and continue on with my monthly routine of showing you my favorites for each month i do want to go ahead and apologize for the lighting i think this is the best i'm going to be able to get it today i know i looked really washed out but it's really cloudy today and i just i don't know i'm not super familiar with my camera yet so I'm not for sure what setting to put it on to get it to make me not look so washed out but we're just gonna go ahead and move past that and jump straight into this video. So the first product I have is the C8 London Geology Top Coat. This has been something that I've been using recently a lot of. I've been trying to stay more consistent about painting my nails and I say that as I have I mean chipped nail polish on but you know I'm trying to do better about painting my nails, but um, I've really been liking this a lot. I think it's a wonderful top coat. I've noticed that whenever I use this particular top coat, my nail polish seems to last longer, as in it doesn't chip as fast. I don't know, maybe it's just a nail polish I've buying, been buying, but it just seems like every time I paint my nails, if I don't use a top coat, it chips within a couple of days. But with this, at least, it lasts for at least a week or Maybe if I take good care two weeks before it starts to chip. So I've really been impressed with this and definitely recommend this item. Next up is the Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. This is something that I've been using in my nightly routine. Um, you can, I know it says mask, but I don't find it to, like, it's not a normal mask. You can put it on and leave it on for five minutes and then wipe it off, but I just usually put it on before I go to sleep and just leave it on all my and my skin absorbs it it's not like it feels like a lotion to me it, or a moisturizer to me it doesn't feel like a mask so here's a little bit on my finger and I mean it just goes right on it is thick so I mean I guess I could see why they might call it a mask but really it's just a thick moisturizer to me Anyways, I usually just put this on, um, especially if my face is feeling dry, I just put this on before I go to bed and I leave it on all night and I haven't had any like issues with the residue in the morning or anything. I, I don't even have to wash it off if I don't want to. Um, but yeah, I've really been liking this and it smells. It does have um, a fragrance, it's not a bad fragrance and I don't notice the fragrance um, the next day. But yeah, this is a product that I've really been enjoying, and like I said, I've added it to my nightly routine. Next product that I'm going to talk about is the Spongella Body Wash Infuse Buffer. This is something that I got in my BoxyCharm, or not BoxyCharm, BoxyLux. I got this in my BoxyLux, my first BoxyLux, and I've actually really liked this. At first, you know, it, it has multiple uses, and I'm still using it up. It smells really good. But um, when I first took it in the shower with me and, you know, got it all wet and, uh, you know, started using it, I thought it was a little too rough on my skin. But after, I don't know, four uses of it, I guess my skin, maybe my skin was just not used to it. But after a while, I didn't notice, notice it being rough anymore. And I really thought it was a good uh, buffer. And I, it felt like it was exfoliating my skin pretty well, so I've really liked this a lot. And I'm going to be continue using it until there's nothing left to, leave, to use, I guess. And I'm surprisingly, I've got a lot of uses. I thought maybe I'd get maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 uses out of it. And I've already exceeded that uh, number, so. And there's still stuff left in here. I probably won't use it for much too longer just because, you know, it just seems kind of gross to be using it for too long. But it still smells really good, and I really liked it. Next up, I have a treatment mask for your hair. This is the more, I don't know if I'm saying this right, the Morican Gold Series Intense Hair Care. I'll let you guys look at it. You can read it. Um, this is a treatment mask for your hair. Uh, it is intense care for dry and damaged hair. It, ha it is made with pure Mor Morican Organ oil enriched with keratin and sulfate free. Now I've been using this since November and that's about as, um, can't 
I don't know if you guys can tell, that's how much as I've used so far. And I've, I've really, really liked this. So usually, um, or what the instructions say is to put it on. How do you know you condition or shampoo your hair and to leave it on for about five to seven minutes? Um, it says it's supposed to, supposed to condition, nourish, and locks in moisture, fortifies, strengthens strands, protects hair against breakage, dryness, and damage. I would highly recommend this if you have dry or damaged hair because I really think that this would help it. For me personally, I mean, it did make my hair um, feel a lot a lot smoother and it added you know more of a natural shine to it but I really I really like the product itself and I really enjoy using it the only thing is, is I've noticed that because it is an oil and I've already kind of have um, my hair gets oily pretty easily so I think it kind of makes it look a little greasy if I use it too much or I think if I let it sit for too long or I've noticed if I put it like more on the top of my hair then my my roots start to look really greasy so I've been usually just been putting it more on the ends um, and not so much like on the top but I, I really I love the smell of it I love the way it makes my hair feel afterwards and I think it is a really good product it's just not something I'd be able to use all the time but I don't know I, I kind of just like I don't know I really like it but I just wish it didn't make my hair look so greasy but it, it smells so good and it makes my hair feel so nice but yeah anyways I highly recommend this product for people that have dry damaged hair because I really think this would help out a lot and if your hair doesn't get greasy that easily then I highly recommend this too for someone like that next up I have the TARDIS lip paint this is a gloss and it is in the shade insta famous I think yeah, Insta Famous. Man, this has won me over to the gloss world. I hadn't ever really used many glosses because I don't know. I don't know if I just never came across them or I don't know. I just I don't know why I didn't use many glosses, but this this is one of the most comfortable glosses I've ever worn, and it is super pretty and it goes with almost everything that I've tried so far. Let's see if you guys can see it. Anyway, it's super shiny, super shimmery. Um. And it's not too glittery, in my opinion. Like, I was worried that the glitter was really going to show on my lips. And when I put it on, it it doesn't. I don't have it on. I don't. I just I already have a kind of a, a liquid lipstick on, and I, I didn't think it would go too well. I mean, I guess I could try to put some on. I feel like with liquid lipsticks, it kind of makes a mess, but we'll see. Yeah, I don't think you'd be able to see it very well. But I don't know, this is a super... I think you could wear this gloss alone. Or I usually put it with a, a lip liner of some sort. But I don't know, it's just, just, it's just something that I usually... I use um, on my everyday makeup routines. Just because I just think it adds that... Mm, that extra little mm, something to your face. But yeah, I... I would really recommend, highly recommend this product to anybody who is interested in trying out a new gloss. But yeah, those are all my favorite products for the month of December. I know I didn't have very many makeup products this month, but I don't, you know, every month's different. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate the support. And I'll also have my Instagram username up on the screen for you guys if you want to follow me on Instagram. But I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!